The goal of today's lesson is to help students demonstrate an understanding of linear relations and fundamental algebraic concepts. Today we will focus on the Georgia Performance Standard that states students will understand and apply linear equations in one variable. The essential question for today's lesson is how can I solve one-step equations? For one-step equations, they are so simple because you only need to complete one step to solve the equation. Now, before we begin our practice with one-step equations, it is important that we take a look at an equation checklist. These are three steps that will help us solve for one variable in linear equations. We want to remember the acronym IBS. The I stands for inverse operation. We've discussed this word before. All it means is undoing the given operation. It's just the opposite. So we would say the inverse operation of adding would be subtracting. The inverse operation of multiplying would be dividing. The second step in our equation checklist is balance. This is what the B stands for in our acronym. When we say balance the equation, it means whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. The final step is to solve. After you have completed all three of these steps in the equation checklist, you are finished. Now, if you're a really smart student and you always want to get a 100 on your test, or whatever assignment it is you're completing, you always want to go back and check your answer. Let's go ahead and try an example together. Now, when working with one-step equations, I want you to start by separating the equation into two different parts. This will help us with our second step in our equation checklist. We are going to draw an imaginary line straight down the equal sign. Now we have two different sides to our equation. Now, the goal is to isolate the variable. Isolate means to get the variable alone. We want this x to be all by itself. So in order to do this, we are going to take it step by step using our acronym IBS, Inverse Balance Solve. So you always want to start on the side with the variable. Take a look and see what are they doing. They are adding 7. So the inverse operation of adding 7 would be to subtract 7. Now the second step is to balance. This is where our little imaginary line comes in handy. Now whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So since we subtracted 7 over here, we must subtract 7 on the right side. All right, the last step is to solve. So you can cancel your 7s. 10 minus 7 is 3. Your equal sign comes down. Your x, your variable, comes down. The x is all alone. x equals 3. Now, remember, if you're super smart, you will always go back and check your answer. So we said that x equals 3. So what we're going to do is plug in a 3 into the original equation right here for the x. 3 plus 7, and yes, that does equal 10. So we know that we got the right answer, x equals 3. Here's a website you guys can visit on your own time. Um, we'll just take a look at it really fast. If you go to www.mathrealm.com, you can find this little activity, and, and we'll go ahead and do one example together. It says find, find the value for n. Isolate n on the left and balance the scale. So n plus 2 equals 4. So as you can see, we have n plus 2 equals 4. 
Now, what we want to do is isolate the variable. We want to get this in all by itself. So you're, we're going to take away two, two of the blocks. Now, the scale is not balanced. So since we took away two blocks over here, we have to remember to balance it and take away two blocks over here. And there you go, n equals 2. So this is a great site for you to go to to get extra practice and to have a little fun. All right, I want to take a few moments to go ahead and practice some more one-step equations. We're going to do the first two problems together, and then I'll have you press pause on your video screen and do three and four on your own. So let's take a look at number one, x minus 3 equals 12. First, you want to go ahead and draw that little imaginary line. That's just going to help us separate the equation. Now, remember, you always want to start on the side with the variable. We want to isolate the variable. We want to get that x all by itself. I'm going to write our acronym just so we don't forget the steps. Inverse balance solve. So we'll come over here. We need to get rid of this minus 3. So the inverse operation of subtracting 3 would be adding 3. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. This is called balance. And then finally, we solve. We can cancel our 3's, and 12 plus 3 equals 15. Your equals comes down, your x comes down, and x equals 15. Now remember, if you are smart, you're always going to go back and check your answer. So let's plug in the 15 into the variable in the original equation. 15 minus 3 equals 12, which it does, so we know we, ha we have the correct answer. Let's try another one. First, draw your imaginary line to separate the equation. Remember, you always start on the side with the variable. We want to isolate the variable. We want the x to be all alone. So, what is the inverse operation of a minus 4 or a negative 4? It would be a positive 4. Okay, whatever you do to this side, you have to balance and do to the other side. That's our second step. So we'll add 4 over here. And finally, the last step in the equation checklist is to solve. A minus 4 and a plus 4 will give you 0, so you can cancel. 3 plus 4 equals 7. And your little equals comes down, and your x comes down, and you have your answer. x equals 7. Now, remember, you always want to go back and check your answer. So I'm going to rewrite the original equation, but I'm going to substitute the 7 in for the x. And let's see if it equals 3. Right here, you need to remember your integer rules. If the signs are different, if they're not the same, then you need to subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the larger number. So 7 minus 4 is 3. We're going to keep the, the positive because the 7 is bigger. So your answer is positive 3, which it is. So we know that the answer is x equals 7. All right, go ahead and press pause on your video screen and take a few moments to do numbers 3 and 4. All right, let's go ahead and do these few problems together. First step is to draw your imaginary line straight down the equal sign. Now this one looks a little different because now we've moved into multiplication and division. So we have 7x equals 35. Now remember, you always want to start on the side that has the variable because we want to isolate the variable. We want to get it all alone. Now. You have to ask yourself, what operation is going on here? What are they doing to the x? They are multiplying it times 7. So let's go back to our acronym IBS. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we are going to divide by 7. Now we want to keep it balanced, so whatever we did to one side, we need to do to the other. 
and finally solves. You can go ahead and cancel your 7s because the 7 over 7 is just 1. So we can go ahead and cancel those. Your x comes down, equals comes down, and 35 divided by 7 is 5. Now, remember, you always want to go back and check your answer just to make sure you have the correct one. So what we're going to do is plug in the 5 for the variable. 7 times 5 does equal 35, so we do have the correct answer, x equals 5. All right, let's go ahead and try the last one. Draw your imaginary line straight down the middle. Now, they have x divided by 2. So the inverse operation of dividing by 2 would be to multiply by 2. And we're going to make that a fraction, put it on top of a 1. Now, whatever you do to one side, you must keep it balanced and do to the other. I'll go ahead and put this over 1 also. All right, you can cancel over here. The x comes down, the equals comes down, and we're on our last step, which is to solve. 40 times 2 is 80. Now, remember, if you are smart, you will always go back and check your answer. So let's plug in the 80 up here for the variable. 80 divided by 2 equals 40, which it does, so we do have the correct answer. Go ahead and press pause on your video screen and take a few moments to complete these practice problems with one-step equations. All right, and here are your answers. Check your work.